Hello everybody. Figured I'd do an update on the, my breeders, my available stock, any new things coming up in the fish room. So, these are my American Purples that I originally got from Bob Lewis. But uh, I had ended up with a male with the real dark pectorals in one, one of my drops about a year ago and uh, isolated that trait and uh, I got breeding pretty consistent now almost all the males will come out with the with the purple pectorals some purple bodies they're not a full purple or Moscow purple these are just an American purple they get fairly large nice tails good shape matching dorsals I just happen to like that uh, coloration in the pectoral fins they're not Dumbo, that's for sure. But it has that non-Cobra Cobra. It's an AOC bicolor. I'm trying to set this. This popped out of my uh, my half black. One of my half black AOC lines throws AOC bicolors or Cobras. Cobras by uh, they have the vertical bars in the body or the zebranous stripes. They're not a snakeskin. Anyway, this male was totally different from all his brothers. So, reading him back to the original Cobra line of females. With no shows going on, I have uh, some flexibility in what I'm raising. I don't have to grow fish now for showing. I'm basically uh, experimenting with a few things, improving some things, and selling a lot of fish. Here's my American Greens. I really like these. Very prolific. They haven't dropped yet. I set these up uh, June 27th. But you can see there are all the females that hit that didn't drop. Nice female. They're all nice females. There's my uh, my very popular half black purple leopards, my half black AOCs. I have several different varieties of half black AOCs, all different strains. Uh, this just happens to be the purple leopards, but they would still be shown in the half black AOC class. These are fairly prolific. They drop like clockwork. You can see 521, 618, 622, 719. A couple of them are ready to drop again. And then usually after the third or fourth drop, I stop using these females. I will not uh, take drops out of old females. There's a young tank of full reds. Now, out of this line, the last generation, I got some albinos. I'm going to show you them in a little bit. They look just like the full red, but they're albinos. These are uh, these are not albinos. Oh okay, yeah, this is a uh, shovel. This is a young shovel green. They never, the tails never stop growing. The dorsals also, they just grow and grow. I've noticed that the, the shovel greens have some Moscow traits in them because I'll cross them into a, a generic blue or a green. I tend to get a Moscow casting, similar to this male, in the body. However, the females rarely show the Moscow trait. Here are my huge blues. I'm really happy with these blues. Originally, I, I think the auction I went to at the annual in New England was in 
2016 maybe, Jim Groby put some uh, put a trio up for auction, and one of the females added a trio drop one time, and added that one drop, I developed all my blues. And you can see these an American blue, they got that the red patch on the top of the head. That's a, a trait of an American fish. Asian fish do not have that, unless they get the strains from the from America and they do something with it. I really like these blues. I've done well with them. Now here I'm making a cross with a shubal green males onto my green females. I haven't had any drops yet. I don't know if they'll come to the front. You know, even though it's an iPhone, it gets heavy. I keep changing my hand. All right, here's the young, the young Shubal green male with my uh, green females. Uh, time will tell. All right, here's some drop tanks, some fry tanks. With my drop tanks, I just put a female in here with the mesh. Well, a lot of people are using the mesh now works very well. If you can't raise plants like water sprite, or if you'd rather not have plants because of uh, how, how much of a mess they make in a tank, I like the mesh. A lot more. Uh, let's see some more of my breeders. These are my half black reds I've been working on for, oh, I don't know, six, seven years now. I'm happy with them. This is a hybrid male. Came out of Rick Brigley's Moscow's that I crossed. And now, like I said, this is a hybrid from the cross. Now I'm breeding him back to my half like AOC females. Got a few drops. Show you what the, these babies look like. This was their first drop. I'm just keeping them in here for observation. They've been in here since they were born. Time to change the water though. I usually change the water every second or third day. There's another tank of young green breeders. Set these up July 7th. I keep very accurate records. If um, you're interested in, in maintaining strains of guppies or a strain of guppies, I find it very important to keep records. If you want to know how to keep records an easy way, go to my website, uh, showguppies.com. Uh, there's an article there on, on keeping records. All my records are in books like this. This I started in 2019. This book here, uh, what year did I start this in? 2008, I have books going all the way back to the 80s. Uh, so as you can see, you can see right here, I set these up on 6-12-08. That was my first entry. And I kept this book going until uh, November of 2019. And then I started this book here and at a glance, I could just open up the book and trace the genetics or the heredity of all of these strains. I have videos that I keep to refer back to for uh, what they actually look like. I have black purples, very prolific. All those dates and dates they drop. my straight cobras or AOC bicolors. These are not snakeskin. Vertical bars. 
was Ibnus. This is my original line of half black ALCs. I just set these up on the 21st. Nice dark bodies, all have matching dorsals. If you show fish on the IFGA circuit, matching dorsal to portal will put you in a winner's circle most of the time, providing everything else is fairly decent. But the matching dorsal uh, will carry you into the winner's circle. Yeah, it's good to have big guppies with shape, match dorsal, very important. One to one, caudal to the body. Naturally, this male, these males are young, so the caudals are going to grow. If you have a, a caudal that's equal in length to the body, you'll do well with the show, providing you have matched dorsal. Right, now here's those same reds, full reds. There were a few albinos a few generations ago, and um, I've been running this line of uh, full red albinos. They're a little smaller than the others so far, but um, I'm waiting for a drop. Good color. These are my half black blues. You can see how black the bodies are on my half black blues. It didn't come easy. These are my half black greens. If I put a, a light on them, you'll see that they're green. They look dark here, but they're green. There's another tank of my blue breeders. Just set these up. The half black greens, good dog bodies. There's a young half black purple leopards. I set these up three days ago on the 20th. Fry down here. I don't know if these will come up in the video. I made a cross a while ago. I crossed um, uh, a non half black male that came out of my half black reds to a blue female. I figured I'd try to make some red bicolors. Another work in progress. Like I said, I have. Um, the opportunity to play around since there's no shows now. I'm hoping they resume next show season, but uh, who knows what's going to go on with this pandemic. Even if the shows resume, I mean, the post office is so delayed now with getting fish to the shows. I was talking to my friend Michael Marco Trigiano, and we agreed that the, the post office isn't going to be able to get the fish to the shows on time. We might not be having shows. So everything is back to normal. Oh, I have some young purples. I really like the 
the dark pixels. This tank, uh, I sold most of the, the fish out of here. These are three or four males that are left. I ran out of females in this tank. These fish are only three months old, these shovel greens. Same with these half black blues, they're only three months old. There's a date right there that they were born, 415. Tank and half black blue, very prolific. These are just uh, much younger. These were born May 9th. Here's my original line of the half black leopards. Most of this tank is sold out of it. I got some virgin females, a couple hit females. I think, I think most of these are gonna go on Monday. I think I have all these orders filled. But I have more coming up. The tank of mixed cobras. When I say mixed, I had a, I usually don't do this. I usually keep all my litters raising in separate tanks litter by litter each having their own tanks this is um i think two different drops and females from three different drops that i had left very prolific very hardy these are some young blues. They should be ready in a couple weeks. Like I said, I sell fish young. What's the point in selling somebody old fish that maybe they'll have one drop by the time you get them in your tanks if they can take the adjustment? By getting young breeding stock, they, they acclimate very easily. They live at least four, maybe five months, have at least three or four drops each female and my customers are happy. Uh, here's my full reds. This is a nice drop. Let me move back, you can see. This is one drop of fish. Probably about 40. I don't call as far as uh, for the amount of fish in a tank. This is my only 20 gallon long. So those are all females in the basket, virgins. There's some in the tank with the males. And my arm's getting tired. There's a nice tank of young purples. It's all one drop. These are blues, these are ready to go out on Monday. Making sure all these females get hit. Contact me if you're interested in any of the fish you're seeing in the videos. Send me all your information in an email. I'll set up a time we can talk or whatever, but just don't call my phone. I'm very busy. Text me first, or just email me, B-R-O-N-X-Y-O-G-I at Gmail. You can go to my website too. I have a sign-in page. You fill in all the required fields, the email, will come into my inbox and I usually contact my customers.
SM Young have black purple leopards. Some young shovel greens. Oh, my arm's getting tired. These are just eight weeks old. Young half black reds. Also, these are uh, eight weeks old. Some of these are spoken for. I think I got three tanks of half black reds. I think I got six trios going out on Monday. Now, yeah, I know these. You're gonna think these are Schubel greens, but they're not. This was a Schubel green crossed with blue, trying to make a multi. They got some pattern in the dorsal. Some of them came out in Moscow. Something to play around with. They're nice fish though. Very hardy. There's some more purples. These are also just going on nine weeks old. There's a date with the boat, 5.15. Black greens. There's young and half black greens. This is the age I like to sell them at. Half black blues. Oh, this is in the corner, so it's hard to get here. What do I got here? Half black reds. Some more blues. This is a line of shovel greens, but not. This is a. I acquired these from another friend of mine. Basically the same. Um, I think these might be a little bit bigger than the line I got from. Um, Who did I get the first line from? Tom Joffrey. The nice shovel greens, though. This I got from my friend Alex. He owns a fish farm in, uh, in Florida, not far from me. And uh, he somehow got a hold of the Shubal Greens a few months back, but he didn't want to lose them, so he brought them over to me before the, before the pandemic started. And uh, I've been working with them for a while. Here's some juvenile greens. Get out of the way, my shirt's uh <laughs> These are nice greens. These are my American greens. Uh, nice young tank of half black purples. Gotta get rid of that male, I gotta pull him out, he got chewed up. Tank of the dark purples. There's another tank of those Grigsby multi. I don't know what the bike is. They're a hardy fish. I'm trying to get a grass out of these. That, that's what they originally were supposed to be. And I did get some. I have some in another tank, a little bit older. Some of these might develop into a grass pattern as they get older. You can see it in some of them. Grass pattern is like the fine dotting. Another tank of my grins.
of the tank of the young Shubal Greens. These are nine weeks old. Alright, this is the next batch of half black purples that are gonna half black purple weapons that are gonna be available. Pattern is just starting to show up. I have no light on these right now other than the poor overhead light but uh, maybe I can catch them on an angle and you can see the purple in them. But these are half black purple lessons, trust me. And there's those blue grass. From Rick Rigsby's line. These are older and you can see that the pattern starts to come out as they age. There's a nice grass pattern. Wait, where are they? I know there's one in here with a good grass pattern. And I can't pick it up in the dark tank, but uh, that one male has the very fine dots. Just need a little more development. Some more purples. Some half black blues. These are for a customer. Just wanted. Just wanted males. More half black reds. And these are my half black white leopards. Just starting to show some pattern. Might be a couple yellow leopards. You know, a lot of times when you you work a strain and you're trying to isolate a specific detail, like a, a certain type of a dot or a streak or a background color with the dots, especially with the F like AOCs, it's not a cut and dry operation. I mean, sometimes it takes me three or four years. I've been working on half black white leopards for five years, and I got see that one or two males in here starting to show the white corners with nice dots not just the speckles that's a nice male right there at 10 weeks old, one on the 28th of April. Virgin females. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get down to these bottom tanks, but uh, these are young, young, young. These here are uh, that cross I made, I told you, the multi Moscow's or whatever. These aren't for sale, they're too old. I wouldn't sell people these fish. Uh. There's another tank of those red bicolors from the cross I made. If somebody wants to play around with something, you know, I'm not going to charge you like a prices I charge for my regular trios. I just like to get them into good hands. Usually, uh, if, if, if it wasn't for the pandemic, I have I get a lot of visitors here. People travel to see me. And if they don't want to spend big bucks 
I'll send them home with something like this. Young half black purples. Let's see what these, these, these another tank of the, the Moscow grass or whatever. You can see there's a couple in here with the pattern. I believe these are the same line. My object is to get these to produce a majority of fish with the pattern, not just a couple. All right, well, so getting on 8.30 at night here. I still haven't done my shrimp. So um, I'm gonna cut this video to an end now. I'm thinking of doing a live stream at some point and um, taking questions from people, giving them background. I haven't done that in a while. It's hard to answer everybody's questions while you're streaming. But that's the purpose of live streaming, is to interact. And I would do a zoom in here, um, but I have, depth, I have very poor Wi-Fi, and even with a Wi-Fi extender, I, I don't have a good range for my Wi-Fi in the fish room. All right, well, I'm gonna go do my shrimp, call it a night, and, uh, like I say, if you have any questions or whatever, uh, email me with your contact information. I'll text your phone, schedule a time, and I can answer questions. That's what I do. All right, well, have a good night, everybody.